We've heard the word of the Lord in the scripture, and now we also reflect on that word in the context of reflections on the message of Our Lady at La Salette. In John's Gospel, we hear, whoever welcomes the one I send welcomes me. We have all heard stories of a Jesus in disguise coming to visit a household as a beggar, a child, a homeless person. Those who welcomed him were astonished to, to discover him under the disguise. Stories are touching and the reality is even more so. Jesus comes indirectly to us through those who touch our lives. We shouldn't be surprised when we don't recognize him. Mary Magdalene didn't recognize him until he spoke her name. The apostles recognized him only when they saw his wounds. Though they walked with him for hours, looked into his eyes and heard his voice, the disciples going to Emmaus needed to share the bread of fellowship before they recognized him. Welcoming people means receiving them with pleasure, satisfaction, and hospitality. It means sharing what we have. It means caring about those we receive as well as for them. When Maximin and Melanie first saw the globe of dazzling light, they were afraid. They would have fled had, had not the globe parted to reveal the beautiful lady. Like her son, Mary came disguised. Maximin naively thought that she had come up there to cry her heart out because her children had struck her. When she stood and invited them to come near, their fears melted. As Mary came toward them, they approached her. Each welcomed the other. She brought Christ into their lives, first through the shining crucifix on her breast, and then by the conversion which would gradually take place in their lives. Hospitality is considered one of the chief Christian trademarks. It calls us to welcome disguised saints and sinners into our lives, where Jesus can have the pleasure and the satisfaction of encountering them. Some reflection questions we might want to entertain through, through this day. What fears hold me back from welcoming Christ into my life today? What fears hold me back from sharing the bread of fellowship with my brothers and sisters? <laughs> 